Welcome guys, today we are talking again about the GS, the 1300 GS and today we are talking about what I like, what I don't like, what could be better. There could be every time something better, so let's talk about maybe what should be better, let's say so, and have a look or deep look into the bike. What could be better on the GS? I think what they could improve is the feedback of the clutch. Because when you pull the clutch, you feel, okay, yeah, here it's getting strong, but there is no, no point like where you feel the, the clutch is released or on the, uh, on the, let's say so, friction point. You don't feel that. Um, I have a better feeling, for example, on my HP2, but this was something already on the 1200 and this came with the water-cooled engine already that they then don't really have this feeling and you, 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 you just release the clutch and you feel, ah, okay, now it's, now it's going forward. So that's something could be improved. The next thing where I say could be improved is um, and most people will complain is the shifting and the shifting could be a little better but I, f uh, I would say uh, it's on this one already quite perfect it's really uh, from other GS's that's the best one it's still uh, missing something to the four cylinders and two cylinders of course but this is something I think it's something from the uh, um, drive shaft and gearbox this is a connection that is not allowing better shifts so that's something um, quite tricky the uh, next thing what I like is this one this option let's say so you can put it down and then it's down and you can ride and then when you want to stand it up and it's not disturbing you anymore because the old one was disturbing me a little bit and this is why I was riding without and for off-road it I don't, didn't need it. The next thing, the shift lever by itself, it's plastic. And that's not good. For my opinion, yeah, it saves maybe a, a little bit of weight but it can be when you fall down then this will break. And it's plastic, so I I can fully say this will break very easy, very very easy. So and they should have made here a flipper. That's something I don't understand. They they didn't do it anymore. Yeah, this something is yeah okay. They saved some grams on it and be happy with it. I would say then. The side stand is always something where people are adding here bigger foot stamps and yeah, that's something they could make it also a little bit bigger uh, to enjoy it. So yeah, that, that was on all GSs people are adding something that is not going to the floor uh, some people are adding here when they have the adaptive uh, height suspension some uh, this uh, yeah spacers just to put the lean angle a little bit up then what I like is the suspension setup the suspension setup has changed from the previous GS. Um, that's something where I say I'm quite happy because on, on the road setup it's quite comfortable and very nice to ride. Then you have something um, where you change to dynamic and when you change to dynamic, yes, it's harder, but on the old one it was really so that it was like flat hard and it was doing like, let's say, it was damping, but it was really like, let's uh, twist the rebound and damping down to the maximum and that's our dynamic mode. And here you feel that the system is really like operating and also in this, uh, on, 
in Vienna you have these bumpies uh, where the train is uh, going and I was riding with the dynamic mode on I thought I was not saying my uh, back is hurting so this is quite something really impressive they have changed and this is something like day to night change and I really like it what I don't like on the suspension is that most people are taking this uh, adaptive height control because that's something for my opinion it's something for lower or not so high grown riders what I say is it was uh, previously you had the lower uh, suspension option on the bike and that's something um, how to say it's now the adaptive suspension so everyone that is buying an adaptive suspension would buy before that a lower lowering kit or lower suspension option and that's something where I say you don't most of them don't need it they don't need it they would take the normal one they would save a lot of weight that's the first thing and the second thing is they they would just save them a little bit of troubles that's something I fully say because it's draining a lot of battery power and uh, to put it up and down and it's happening quite fast up and down yeah and this is something uh, from where is the energy going yeah from the battery S many people are complaining already about the battery this lithium battery is in the now in this season it's great but in a little bit winter uh, spring season it's not so perfect because a lithium battery it has these tweaks that is not operating in lower temperatures perfectly and then you need to ad understand that this battery needs like a wake up and the wake up you do I push the button the, ba uh, the bike is going on and then the and then the bike starts a little bit to drain the battery and it's keeping alive and then I press the start button so then it's working yeah but you hear it but you hear it already it was not starting perfectly so that's something they need to change with software they they need to change something because it's not perfect yeah Okay, you can change to the normal battery. Yes, you will add already again some kilograms, but is this the way to go? I don't think so. Okay. The next is the panniers. Yeah, BMW has a lot of pannier problems on the GS, and they are really great. Yeah, I I I was really impressed as they released that and um, I thought oh, this will be really cool and many people bought it also and then it came out that they needed to send it back because there are some uh, errors with them that they are opening by itself then the key is uh, taking uh, out the whole key fob and so on so yeah that's that's not perfect that's not a premium uh, premium manufacturer option then what I like is here that it's like from design uh, the seat is uh, taken a little bit longer so it, it feels like you would sit here on this whole surface yeah that's really really something I like and this is also something softer here you have the aluminum tank that's also cool I think the older one with plastic so that's very very cool then the frame on the back one that's something also where I say really really cool and nice made and it uh, fits to the shape because if this one would be flat uh, steel and then you would here have uh, a pipe frame like on the uh, 900 GS for example it looks really cool yeah but it wouldn't be so slim then and I think this is also quite light and very nice made um, what is a little bit a problem is here when you put on the sticker for the enduro uh, drivers that are putting here the sticker it's falling off I can say take silicone glue it on and leave it because the glue is not cried because this is not 
it's not like this uh, surface really soft and uh, polished like and then painted it's yeah quite rough surface from the engine I can say it's also when you are driving and you put the throttle on okay yeah that's full throttle and then it's like you put the full throttle and then it's like a little bit of time where the engine is thinking ah okay he wants full throttle okay let's give him it's not like instant it's a little bit of time every time gone when when you slowly then everything is fine but when you put it like you drive with 20 percent and then you get a little bit of throttle then it's like it's a little bit of waiting time yeah then the, the thing is here for example yeah i can say you shouldn't uh, refill the oil when you drive it but sometimes it happens when you drive it hard or roughly or you fall down or something and here the point yeah to open this and then refill it it's a little bit limited space yeah it's I, I know why they put it here and not here anymore because it's a dry sump and I think this is why it's going directly to the rice sump and here it would be a little bit tricky and overfilled then you have here the oil scale this is something for example I quite like um, it's really very nice it's, yeah, it's the level is quite high I would say um, to, to measure the oil level so where it should go and so on and then last but not least is uh, the mounting points for the crash bars here 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 this is something if you look here it's okay here I'm not sure the older ones were mounted here and here and this was something uh, quite strong support base to mount it and now when you crash I feel this support it's not so strong and couldn't hold it uh, if you fall a little bit on a bigger crash then here you have like plastic covers I think that's something really nice uh, because you can exchange it for very cheap money and yeah that's something made to scratch here this one when you ride off-road I'm sure it needs a sticker or something because it will be scratched quite easy um, then the next thing is or the last thing is this one can be unmounted because you have here on the back two screws you unscrew it and this one is gone and on the older ones you had this foot bags and the adventure foot bags and you needed to buy new ones and here is like plug and play what luggage you are using and this is something cool yeah they, they have thought about things so I hope you like the video I hope you enjoy it maybe you have some other options or some other feedback where something is not perfect for you put it on the comments please like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video or hear you in the next video Bye.